Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host. And uh, today I made it from Geneva to the Valley de Joux. I'm uh, at Jeger Le Coulte or Jeger Le Coulte, uh, depending on how you want to spell it. And with me is Catherine Renier, the CEO. Welcome, Catherine. Thank you. Well, welcome, Alexander. It's a pleasure to have you here in the Valley de Joux in this uh, wintry landscape as uh, it's snowing today so <laughs> yeah, yeah coming here we we uh we're, we're st astonished going up uh, and suddenly the colors change from green to white, and <laughs> yes. more white. <laughs> it was quite a day you picked to make the trip but we're really happy that you did and we're really happy to have you here in the manufacture <laughs> Subscribe and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Fasten your seatbelt for something new. We offer you the chance to win a priceless experience. New subscribers with an activated notification can win a watch manufacturer trip to Switzerland. Together with our partner from Tobel, we give away 10 all-inclusive trips worth a total of 50,000 Swiss francs. More details on watchadvisor.com. Furthermore, register there to double your chances to win. See you soon in Switzerland. Catherine, um, I have found, because it was just here behind us, the Preuve d'Avention, meaning um, when in, on the 4th March of 1931, the Reverso was invented and yeah. uh, the patent was uh, filed. Yes. And everything started 90 years ago. And exactly. This year is celebrating the 90th years of the Reverso for Jäger. What is the reverso meaning for Jäger Le Coulte, or Jäger Le Coulte. <laughs> yes, well, reverso is clearly uh, the icon of the Maison. It has uh, this beauty of uh, the sophistication and the elegance of our collection. It's a true symbol of style and uh, design from the 30s, uh, from 1931, as you mentioned. Uh, it's also the inspiration of uh, uh, a lot of creativity for Jeger Le Coute, from high complications, uh, but also all our métiers rares, our rare handcrafts that have come to adorn uh, the back of the reversos for the last 90 years. So we've got a lot, a lot of uh, new pieces and beautiful reveal this year to share with the public. When we talk about the uh, entire reverso collection, um, what is it? 20, 30, 40 percent of the watches you sell? Can you can you estimate a little bit the, the size of what the oh, Reverso is, man and woman, so we can imagine? So since day one, since the 30s, actually, Reverso was a thought for men and women. It was, as you know, first a watch done for polo players to turn the watch and uh, protect uh, the case during the polo games. But very quickly in the 30s, it became an icon for design and style. It became a, a fashion statement. Uh, it had color dials uh, and it was also a watch uh, that women were wearing already in the 30s. Today it's about 50-50 huh, between men and women. So it's really uh, very, very much uh, uh, for the whole public. Uh, and uh, it's, you know, it's uh, an icon that uh, has success worldwide for the Maison. Many say, and I'm not, I'm, and I belong to those. Uh, the Reverso is the only rectangular watch you can wear. Mm. What would you say? Well, I don't <laughs> know if it's the only one, but definitely it's one rectangular watch and one that is uh, highly recognizable, that is uh, truly authentic to its design from the 30s, and that is extremely comfortable to wear. It sits on your wrist. Uh, and that, I think, is given really on the, the unique shape of the case uh, and the very well balanced uh, of the design. In fact, uh, it's really done, the, the design of Reverso, to respect the golden ratio. So you've got this uh, magic of the numbers, this magic of proportion uh, that gives Reverso all its elegance and that enables it to sit on your wrist perfectly. So probably it's really the only rectangular watch one can wear. I always <laughs> said this, and it's in my collection the only one I have is a Reverso, and I don't, I cannot think about another watch uh, I would want to have. But uh, tastes are different, as we say. Exactly. Are you interested in the Swiss watch industry? Check out Fontobel's latest Swiss watch industry outlook on fontobel.com watches. 
The Reverso in the last years very much um, focused to be in the segment of, let's say, more elegant watches. Mm -hmm. You once were in a sports segment. Is this something you gave up and you don't think the Reverso should be there? Or is it something where you could imagine in the future to get back a little bit more? You know, Reverso has had a long life, huh? 90 years. Uh, it almost disappeared in the 70s. Yeah. Uh, and then it was totally redesigned to be even more... Um, uh, robust, even stronger in the uh, 80s. Uh, it gave birth to a lot of high complications since the 90s. Definitely we had uh, a sports interpretation with the Squadra uh, a, a few decades ago. So the story and the life of Reverso is full of uh, innovation and inspiration. Uh, right now our, our goal has been to really respect uh, the original design, the original identity, uh, so really the proportion of the case, the design of the gold rounds, uh, and to bring a lot of innovation in terms of high watchmaking, but also decoration uh, to Reverso. Uh, our new collection this year is uh, uh, an Ibris Mechanica with no less than four faces of complications, not two, but four. Uh, it's also a uh, new color dials on, uh, on our tribute model, uh, celebrating the colors that were uh, in fashion in the 30s. Uh, it's also a lot of uh, decorated pieces like the one I'm wearing for women with all our rare handcrafts uh, at the back of Reverso. And last but not least, uh, it's a piece uh, with a digital time display at the back of Reverso, uh, a digital time display, which was something really much in fashion uh, during the 30s and that we are bringing really specifically uh, to Reverso for this 90th anniversary. Mm -hmm. So needless to say, we've been inspired uh, by the collection uh, once again uh, for a celebration uh, this year. So if I correctly summarize you, Katrin, you probably use the Reverso more as a platform to display your knowledge, your savoir-faire, than to maybe waste it uh, being positioned as a sports uh, watch or a watch that is... I, I ask you the question because people ask me, they, are they going to go back probably? They're celebrating now. Are they probably also moving back in that segment? But mm -hmm. I clearly hear you, you take the, the base and you respect it's, rule, it's, it's heritage exactly. and you, you play with what... And we bring our know-how, our expertise, both in movement making, uh, uh, of course, here from the manufacturer, but also in rare handcrafts to come and really tell the story of Reverso. So probably uh, expect more uh, nice uh, handcrafts being displayed by Reverso than a uh, comeback of any uh, sports type of uh, Reverso. Well, we have sports type <laughs> watches in our collection. <laughs> yeah, I know <laughs> it. I know it. <laughs> no, there were comments in the. There were comments already before I came here, and of they said, course. "When you meet Katrin, please ask her." Let and I, okay, I'm, I'm just thinking what people were typing in the comment yeah. section, and I'm bringing some. Other, but anyhow, the, the 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 Reverso should be. The watch it was in the 30s. It is a watch you you wear with that feeling you get. You know when you put it on your wrist, you you literally get back in this mood of yeah. of, of of this area with this. It's it's the watch as it should be. You're yes. doing it. 90 years. Wow. Um, then we are going to discover those watches now in detail. Sure. It was a pleasure. Thank you again you. for making the trip, for coming here. It's fantastic to have some visits. We are very happy to, uh, to celebrate Reverso with you and uh, all your uh, viewers. Uh, and uh, we hope to uh, welcome you again very soon, Alexander. Well, we will uh, have another chance uh, for a visit. You will sure. never know, as we did, this uh, little... Um, uh, 10, 11, 10, uh, 10 or 11 people you remember last yes, time? Yes, of course, I remember. Amazing success. People are dreaming to come back and uh, people watching that video say, oh, I need to be there. <laughs> Charming CEO and that's such a nice atmosphere. So we probably will do something well, as soon as nice. we may travel. Thank you, thank you again and uh, see you all very soon. Thank you. You heard it. Thank you very much. I have nothing more to say. Uh, stay tuned and of course do not miss uh, the detailed videos of the novelties we are going to film now. A very warm welcome from the Valais de Joux in Switzerland, Jura, a part uh, of Switzerland where there are a lot of watchmakers at home. And today I have the pleasure to be at the headquarters of Jäger Le Coultre. And it's about me presenting you the so-called sound maker.
Discovery Workshop. I would like to talk about what I have been experiencing and what you can experience if you wish to do so. As you can imagine, a watch is producing different sounds, tickings, clickings. Of course, you will listen to sounds when you are winding the watch. There are, there's noise coming from the gear train and you will experience this sound that is sounding very technical, of course, but step by step, you advance in the class, in the discovery workshop. It will be next step that you are going to go into minute repeaters. Minute repeaters are watches that are able to sound the watch. The hours, the quarters, the minutes are reproduced by the mechanics. There's no battery, there is no integrated processor. It's pure mechanics, a long tradition that Jäger Le Coulter has here in the Vallée de Joux. And Jäger Le Coulter is, by the way, producing some of the most amazing mini repeaters that you can buy for money. And we have, of course, big tradition also here with Jäger Le Coulter, are the alarm clocks. You know the Polaris, you know all the different alarm clocks that are around since the 1950s. So you can experience all these things and it's absolutely sensational and absolutely, let's say, I've never experienced something comparable and you will learn to differentiate the sound. You will learn how they uh, make those alarm clocks on your wrist sound as good. And one last thing, there's one big surprise you will see in the end, and this is what you have to discover, I won't tell you. You go on the website of Jäger Le Coulter, and then you will see a guideline how to get here. The price for a class of eight people and for the experience of one day is 300 Swiss francs. So this is what you have to pay to experience this. It's not only the workshop, as I told you, you will have the workshop, three hours, you will eat something, and then you will tour in the specific workshops where the things that you have been discovering are really manufactured. So these are the ateliers, the haute complication, those ateliers where the really the master watchmakers are sitting and putting together those marvels that you can in the end buy, of course, from Yigelukut. So it's a whole experience from the morning until the evening. And I promise when you do this, you will shake the end because it's fascinating. Come to the Ville de Joux, be here, enjoy the lake, enjoy the nature, and enjoy this incredible sound maker discovery workshop. If you have questions, comment section underneath. As always, Alexander will answer you. And comments to make as well, please do so. And if you are interested, I'm more than happy to pass on uh, the interests, of course, to the people here in um, the Valais de Joux, to the responsible. So you are more than welcome to write me, shoot me an email as always. Bye. Hey, have you packed your luggage? If not, do so. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell. You will get the chance to win your exclusive trip to Switzerland.